Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're making something kind of simple and fun and colorful and lovely for summer and warmer days. We are making a watermelon mint whipped sugar scrub. The bulk of this sugar scrub is sugar, surprise! <laughs> sugar is our primary exfoliant in this sugar scrub. It works really well, it's inexpensive, it's readily available, and it'll dissolve into your bath water when you're done scrubbing with it, so it won't make a mess. The creamy base of this sugar scrub is mostly fractional coconut oil, satyral alcohol, and of course some watermelon seed oil. Some polo wax is what makes this sugar scrub self emulsify with your bath water. So there's a demo at the end of the video and you can see how it turns lovely and creamy when it gets wet and is massaged into the skin. So it's sort of like a scrubby lotion and then it rinses off beautifully, rinses down the drain nicely and leaves your skin feeling fabulous. If you would like to learn more about this formulation and grab a discount code for the watermelon seed oil, please make sure you are reading the blog post which is linked in the description box below. You'll find a lot more information there including information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. Come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our creamy base in a small bowl that is suitable for whipping the scrub in. So this one is deep enough and sort of narrow enough that I can whip without spraying things everywhere. So we need 9 grams of emulsifying wax NF, 18.25 grams fractionated coconut oil, and if you need substitutions, please make sure you're reading the blog post linked in the description box below. 10 grams watermelon seed oil, 11 grams satyral alcohol, and one gram pink mica. To melt everything through, we're going to pop our bowl in a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottomed saute pan with about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour until everything melts through. Once everything has melted, you can remove your water bath from the heat and then remove the bowl from the water bath. I'm gonna give that a bit of a stir and add 49 grams granulated sugar. And this does need to be granulated white sugar. You don't wanna be using brown sugar for this. Brown sugar has a higher moisture content and that is not what we are looking for. You could use something finer like berry sugar or castor sugar, but that will reduce the scrubbiness. You could also use uh, table salt if you wanted to. So just giving that a quick stir, and then I'm going to go pop this in the freezer for five minutes. After five minutes, you'll start to notice a bit of sort of a skin on the top and some hardening around the, uh, the edges of the bowl. Uh, how much cooling and hardening you get in, uh, in five minutes in the freezer will uh, vary with your batch size and with the bowl that you've used. Um, so, you know, something like metal is going to cool down a lot faster than something made of glass. Now we're going to start whipping it. So I've got my little mix master here and I'm going to just pop in one beater and start giving this a bit of a blending. So this is looking lovely and whippy. Our next step is going to be letting it fully come to room temperature and then whipping it again. So I'm just going to leave it for a few hours. All right, so it's been about four hours and as expected, this has hardened up. So now we're going to give it another whipping and we will be ready to add our cool down phase. So you can see that once it gets moving, again, it is nice and soft. Uh, it will kind of firm up a little bit after we um, kind of stop whipping and let it sit for a while, but it's not gonna get uh, that full level of hardness again unless you, know, you let it completely remelt, in which case it will also uh, deflate. For our scent, you're going to need 0.2 grams peppermint essential oil, 0.3 grams watermelon fragrance oil, and a quarter gram vitamin E. To incorporate, I'm going to scoop a bit of the scrub in here, give it a stir, and then transfer it back. We're also going to add one gram of poppy seeds. You could also use a different sort of small black exfoliant, so something like jojoba beads or bursting beads, which are more of a skin nourishing thing, uh, will also work. We're just kind of looking for like a little bit of a black um, note for the watermelon seeds. And then we're just going to blend this all together again. Okay, 
messy. This is all lovely and whippy and gorgeous. And now we are ready to package this up. For packaging, I'm going to use this 100 milliliter black plastic screw top jar from Yellow Bee. For a bit of a use demo, I will grab the batch I made for the blog that's had a chance to sit and you can see it stays nice and soft. Grab a scoop of that. You can see that it gets milky on contact with water. You can, you can also see it kind of dispersing in the bath water down here and uh, turning milky as well. It's got a really lovely scrub. The sugar dissolves uh, in the water so that you don't end up sitting on lots of, um, kind of grainy exfoliants. Uh, I do find that if you are using poppy seeds, you will need to sort of just rinse the tub out gently to get those to, to go down the drain, but they're just 1% of the formulation, so it's not a big deal. And there you go. So we just made a lovely watermelon mint whipped sugar scrub. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full blog post, which is linked in the description box below. There's a lot more information in there, including information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.